I was offered a position as Associate Professor of Medicine and Chief of Scientific Visualization at uh, Yale University uh, in the Department of Medicine. And my job was to write uh, many of the algorithms and code for NASA to do virtual surgery in preparation for the astronauts going into deep space flight so they could be cut in robotic pods. One of the fascinating things about what we were actually working on is that we were seeing using the new kind of scanning technologies, things that had just had never been seen before. I mean, not only in disease management, but also things that allowed us to see things about the body that just made you marvel. Uh, I remember one of the first times we were looking at collagen, and your entire body, everything, your hair, skin, bone, nails, everything is made of collagen, and it's a kind of a rope-like structure that twirls and swirls like this, and the only place that collagen changes its its structure is in the corner of your eye. In your eye, it becomes a grid formation, and therefore it becomes transparent as opposed to opaque. So perfectly organized a structure, it was hard not to attribute divinity to it because we kept on seeing this over and over and over again in different parts of the body. One of the opportunities I had was um, uh, one person was working on a really interesting kind of micromagnetic resonance imaging machine with the NIH, and what we were going to do is scan uh, a, a new project on the development of the fetus from conception to birth using these kinds of new technologies. So I wrote uh, the algorithms and code and he was building, he built the hardware. Paul Lauterbro uh, then went on to win the Nobel Prize for inventing the MRI. I get the data. And uh, I'm going to show you a sample of that piece from conception to birth.
Thank you. But as you can see, when you actually start working on this data, it's pretty spectacular. And as we kept on scanning more and more, you know, uh, working on this project, looking at these two simple cells that had this kind of unbelievable machinery that will become the magic of you. And as we kept on working on this data, looking at small clusters of the body, these little, you know, pieces of tissue that were the trophoblast coming off of the blastocyst, all of a sudden burrowing itself into the side of the uterus, saying, you know, I'm here to stay, all of a sudden having a conversation of communications of the estrogens, the progesterons, saying, you know, I'm here to stay, plant me, building this incredible trilinear fetus that becomes within 44 days something that you can recognize, and then at nine weeks is really like a kind of a little human being. The marvel of this information, how do we actually have this biological mechanism inside our body to actually see this information. I'm gonna show you something pretty unique. Here's a human heart at 25, it's just basically two strands. And like this magnificent origami, cells are developing at you know, one million cells per second at four weeks as it's just folding on itself. Within five weeks, you can start to see the early atrium and the early ventricles. Six weeks, these folds are now beginning with the papilla and the inside of the heart actually being able to pull down each one of those valves in your heart until you get actually a mature heart and then basically the development of the entire human body. The magic of the mechanisms inside each genetic structure saying exactly where that nerve cell should go. The complexity of these, the mathematical models on how these things are indeed done are beyond human comprehension. Even though I am a mathematician, I look at this with a marvel of how do these instruction sets not make these mistakes as they build what is us. It's a mystery, it's magic, it's divinity. I mean, then when you start to take a look at an adult life, take a look at this little tuft of capillaries. It's just a tiny sub-substructure, microscopic, but basically, by the time you're at nine, you know, nine months and you've given birth, you have almost 60,000 miles of vessels inside your body. I mean, and only one mile is visible, 59,999 miles that are basically bringing nutrients and taking waste away. The complexity of building that within a single system is again beyond any comprehension of any existing mathematics today. And then instruction set from the brain to every other part of the body. Look at the complexity of the folding. Where is this intelligence of knowing that a fold can actually hold more information? So as you actually watch the baby's brain grow, and this is one of the things that we're doing right now, we're actually doing a longitudinal studies of actually scanning a baby's brains from the moment they're born every six months until they're six years old. We're gonna be doing actually about 250 children, watching exactly how the jirai and the sukai of the brains fold to see how this magnificent develop actually turns into memories and the marvel that is us. And it's not just our own existence, but how does the woman's body understand to have genetic structure that not only builds her own, but then has the understanding that allows her to become a walking immunological cardiovascular you know, system that basically is a mobile system that can actually nurture, treat this child with the kind of marvel that you know, is beyond, again, our comprehension, the magic that is existence that is us. Thank you.